I'm at another real good place to catch beaver. Active beaver dam. Now it's not legal in all areas to trap beaver dams, but anytime you can find an active beaver dam area, anywhere within 20, 25 feet of the dam is gonna be a good location if you can draw that beaver over to your set. And a good set to make, to draw beaver to, is a caster mouth type set. I'm gonna show that here and also demonstrate the quick drowner method using that sliding pole. What you need to do for a caster mount set is to get down in, drag up some mud and vegetation from the bottom, and kind of make a pile, kind of a caster pile, the same type of a pile a beaver would make when marking his territory for depositing his caster set. Get a nice pile, a lot of visual appeal up on that pile. You can take some lighter colored sticks, rinse them off, and stick down in that pile also help to contrast the light and the dark so that beaver will see it. We want a kind of a run moving up to that and then we can lure it. Just some beaver caster type lure. You can use it out of the 35 millimeter containers if you want. Pull a stick out of the dam or off the bank. Get a good little glob of beaver lure on there and actually just stick it right in that caster pie. There's a couple of tricks to putting in a good foot trap set for beaver. One is making sure your trap's well bedded and that the beaver approaches in between the jaws and not over them. And secondly, is to put in your poke sticks or push sticks. You want to, a beaver swims with his feet tucked back underneath his belly and when he bumps the bank with his chest, he grips it with his feet. A lot of trappers just set that foot trap in, the beaver bumps the trap with his chest, snaps it, you just get a little bit of hair in your trap and no beaver. We want to make sure that when that beaver bumps into the sticks, he grips the trap and we catch him. Here's this long rod that we're going to use for our drowning rig. It's got kind of a rivet or a weld bead on the end so that the drowning lock stops and the trap won't go any further. Use a number four long spring trap. And it's just got a washer welded on the end to drive the stake through. We want to kind of gauge what we're doing here and then actually just stick one end of this drowning rod into the mud and push it down in the mud. That's going to anchor that in. Move the drowning slide up to the top. It'll slide down easy and then lock, positive lock. It won't slide back up. Very important. Next we can just take a long stake, a 30 inch stake, and then actually stake this whole rig right down. That's all there is to it. The drowning sets in place. We get our trap set and our push sticks in and we've got it right down in the water in this position because I want the beaver to step on that in between the jaws. So I'm going to come just lay that trap down in here and I'm going to bed it. I want the pan in about an inch of water or so and bed it down in there nice and snug. I've got a stick here to push in to kind of fence the beaver this way towards the caster pie and a stick to fence the beaver on this side to make him work up across here, up across the trap. Then I'll, lastly I'll take the push sticks get out in front of that trap and push them in kind of at an angle here so that when the beaver swims in he bumps these sticks with his chest and we pick him up. A couple more sticks out front here and then a little bit more fencing and that's all there is to it. <laughs>